Does your wife like to spend money and sometimes she wants something new that's not necessary and then goes and breaks it? Well, luckily for me, that's not the case here. However, my, did, my wife did tear the handle off the microwave. So you stick around, I'm going to show you how to fix it so you don't have to spend the money on a new one because there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Welcome to Shane's Main Shop, where I cover a wide variety of topics such as how-to, home improvement, some auto repair, some woodworking videos, as well as I do some funny videos of my life stories, and if I go away, I try and get some video of some of the places I go. So anyways, thanks for swinging by, and stick around. Alright, I'm not exactly sure uh, why this broke. Uh, she just grabbed it to open it and tore the handle right off. I mean, I already, always knew my wife was a brute, but I didn't expect her to tear the handle right off the microwave. So you can see uh, where it broke was the plastic studs that originally were attached to um, the handle here and they went in through the microwave door and then of course there's screws on the back side and we'll show you that in a second. Uh, the first thing I need to do is get these um, pieces out uh, as I turn the screws on the back side of these spins so you got to use some uh, needle nose pliers to grab a hold of those and hold on to them while you get a screwdriver up in there and get those out and then uh, we'll show you how we're going to fix it. So I was already able to get the needle nose in there and loosen them up. Um, now I can grab with a, a better pair of pliers here, hold on to it and um, get the screw out the rest of the way. All right so you can see that is the piece that was connected to the handle and broke off and there's one of those on the top and bottom and of course the screw as well and so what I'm going to end up doing you could glue this back onto the handle um, but I don't think that's gonna be very strong so what I'm gonna end up doing is just getting some longer screws that will go through the door and then into the handle because the hole is still there that I can use um, to put the screw in. So that's what I'm going to end up doing. So let me just get this bottom one off and then we'll select the screw that will work best for the job. Alright, so after a little searching I found what I needed for a screw. So let me just show you what the original setup was. Originally uh, you had your handle. This was on there. Of course it's broke off. The screw went through the door and into that which was in partly into the door. Um, from the handle here, so it was like this. Uh, so what I had to do, because I don't have that piece sticking in to the door anymore for the screw to grab onto, I had to get a longer screw so it, it would go all the way through the door and reach the handle. So here's the, the uh, length uh, difference of the screws right there. And so now when I put this screw in, it'll go through the door and into the handle. And the handle does go one way, it's got a little um, little pin right there that goes in the door and then we'll go ahead and put the screw right in there and I got it so it countersinks um, into the door where it should. Go ahead and put this top one in. And these are brass screws so they won't rust or anything like that. And you want to make sure it wasn't too uh, thick of a screw because you don't want it to um, split the the door handle, you know, because we're not really going where the original one was. Right here. That should be good right there. Uh, then your handle is back together. So you're good to go. No need to buy a new microwave. So anyway, um, if your wife does break something, then uh, in lots of cases it can be fixed. So thanks for swinging by Shane's Main Shop. There's no need to spend money on an expensive microwave with just a broken handle. Just get yourself a few screws. If you don't have them around the house, you could take your original one with you down to a hardware store and see if you can match up what you need. Uh, other than that, pretty simple project. Thanks, uh, thanks for swinging by. Please like, subscribe, comment, and come back often for more videos. And don't forget, I did release a Tool Tuesday video early this morning, and there'll be another one next week. And as always, have a great day. So I got them loosened up a little bit with the needle nose. Now I'm able to grab it uh, with a bigger pair of pliers here and hold on to that, hopefully, like that. I hate that fucking thing.
thing. It doesn't hold my camera. 